All right, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the Lamax Jack O' Lantern Way. Let's get into it. Okay, so the Jack O' Lantern Way. This is an interesting one. Uh, this was another piece that I was unfamiliar with, and as soon as I saw it, I absolutely loved it. It too was a Christmas gift, like a couple of the other ones this year. There's nothing better than a Halloween gift for Christmas. Uh, this is really, really cool though. I, I don't know why it's not more popular than it is. I haven't really seen in the forums people talking about this one too much or things like that, and I don't know if it's just about awareness or just people don't like it I, I don't know I don't see a reason not to like it though it looks absolutely amazing there's a lot of color and it follows some of the standard kind of front yard pieces you know you got the little lit up bags the, the this version of a gate around it in this case it's more of a wall but you know same concepts got the pillar with the lights and things like that um, but it, it's really it's a cool one um, let's start with some dimensions so it's about seven and three quarters deep by about 11 wide. So it's a, again, a good size piece, uh, similar in size to all the other ones as well. Um, but it's just so cool. So let's take a closer look. Um, like we talked about, they has the standard kind of bags that come down the middle. We have some cool little characters that we haven't seen before. We have Mr. Pumpkinhead here sitting in his chair, uh, Scarecrow, a little ghost here. And then let's see, over here we have a tree, a little graveyard action, a little cat coming out of some pumpkins. Um, and then a really cool thing right here is the like bat between the two pumpkin posts and a little pumpkin on the side there to go with it. It's also got some really cool trees here. Um, let's see, let's start with this one. I like the little spider web. I'm hoping that when the lights go out, that kind of illuminates a little bit based off some of the UV lights here on the ground coming out of it there. Um, it looks like it definitely would. Um, anyway, so we got a cool tree there and then this style tree here. I think it fits well with the graveyard. It is a little bit different. Um, this kind of texture is similar to like the Ghoul's Night Out kind of bushes style, things like that. I don't know if they're exactly the same, but they are definitely close. They could just be a slightly different color maybe. Um, but anyway, it's got some pumpkins to go around the tree as well. Uh, but I'll tell you what's really cool about this piece. Aside from all the characters and things like that, the ground, I don't know why on this piece it looks so good, but it fits really well. It's kind of like an older graveyard style ground. Obviously the grass is dead. Uh, there's some patchiness of some grass there, but overall the ground really I think is what ties it in. They even went as far as adding like some little leaves right there in front of the uh, gravestones. Uh, but anyway, other than that, I think the posts were really cool. Let's take a look at those. You can see on mine that I am missing one, but that's no big deal. The light still works and it'll look great. Uh, you know, this one was interesting because I tried to find some information on it and there wasn't even anything on the manufacturer website. Normally you can get on there and find some basic facts about, you know, years it came out, retired, etc. Uh, this one here is a 2004 piece. Uh, the thing is, is that I don't know, I mean, it's retired obviously, but I couldn't find anything on this for any other year other than 2004. I didn't see a 2005, 2003, nothing. So this could have been a one year run. I mean, I looked hard on the research and I couldn't come up with anything other than 2004. So if you have one from a different year, by all means, please, please let me know in the comments below. But as far as what I could see, it looked like it came out in 2004 and kind of retired. So I, I don't know. Um, the, again, there wasn't much out there for this. Uh, there was a couple for sale, things like that. So if you want one, I'm sure you can find one. Uh, but again, there, there wasn't much out there. So we're just kind of going off here what we think and what we like about it. want to share those views with you. And I want to know what you think about it. Do you like it? Do you think it, it for some reason it just didn't connect like the other ones did? If so, why? Uh, and like a lot of the other platforms like this, it does come with that little like brown platform that goes underneath to give it some height for like the house or whatever. Uh, but anyway, uh, overall, I think it's really, really cool and it's different than the rest of them. You know, a lot of them kind of fit pretty well together. This one's kind of its own little thing and that's cool. It's unique. 
Um, they, they really went uh, to some other places on this one, I think. And, you know, I like it. And uh, we'll turn out the lights here in a minute and we'll take a look at it. And I think next year we'll find a good place for it and see how it looks in the village. Uh, but anyways, as for now, I think it's really, really cool. Check it out. If you know more about it, please let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking to learn. Um, let's turn out the lights here and take a look at it. So here it is. Uh, I turned out the lights and shut the blinds to make it as dark as I could. I apologize for it not being completely black, but you can get the idea. The cobweb does illuminate a little bit. I think that the UV lights for the characters worked out really well. Uh, maybe a couple things I would have liked to seen is maybe a, a UV light for Mr. Pumpkinhead in the chair there, um, and maybe for the tombstones. There is a little light there, so maybe it just needs to be adjusted, and maybe that's what it's actually for, for the tombstones there. Uh, but anyway, overall, I think it's really cool. It was going to look great in any village. Uh, take a look for one. You know, see what's out there. Maybe try one. Let me know what you think. It's really, really cool. And, oh, also a little side note. It is a standard 4.5 volt adapter, so it's not like the old school pin one, it's the actual regular one that we use today. Um, it's battery operated or plug-in, so that's nice. Um, it, it's easy to hook up, it looks cool, and it takes up a decent amount of real estate, but I think it justifies that. Um, overall, I love it. I thank you all so much for checking out my channel and watching my videos. The support is amazing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.